Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessings that you've given us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And thank you for this opportunity to get to reach out to the lost world by being a witness for you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm missing the right temporal lobe for my brain. So that side of my skull is empty. So I no longer have a short-term memory that I was born with. I live in this house with my mother and my father and with my pet dog, Julie. My name is Jonathan Miller and I have an epileptic disability. Jonathan has one of the most pure human hearts we will ever encounter. He had a completely normal birth, and the first 15 months of his life were normal. One morning, I woke up to find him making a funny noise. He was having a seizure about every 15 minutes. Uh, it was so severe when he was about two years old that the doctors warned us eventually he would become like a human vegetable, and we needed to make plans to have him put away. I'm going to school to become a hospital chaplain. When I started college, I thought about wanting to become a social studies teacher. But I felt like that may not be what God wants me to do. My dreams are to get through college and then go to seminary to get my ministerial training. School's easy because I'm good at studying. I take my coffee, my books and all, to one of the desks in the library, and I use that space to do my Bible study. When other students start coming, they see me and realize that I'm a Christian. God doesn't want me to go to school just to learn only. He wants me to go there so I can be a witness for him. I try very hard never to say no to Jonathan. The only thing I ever said no to was college. I did not want to see my son fail. So he looked at me one night and he says, Mama, it's okay if I fail. Just let me try. At this point, he has taken enough classes to qualify as a sophomore. So I have learned from that, don't get in God's way. My mom makes sure that I'm safe in case I have run into a seizure, that someone's there watching me. <laughs> and if I had a hard time in school, then I'll go to her and ask her for help and she'd always be there for me. Sometimes I, I don't feel led spiritually, like I'm not worthy. And sometimes I have to go to dad, since he's a pastor. He gives me advice. I want to be a pastor like him. I want to follow my family's example, serve God wherever I do. Back in 2010, I realized God wanted to use me at my church, but I didn't know what he wanted me to do, so I had to pray about it and found out the Lord wanted me to start a special needs Sunday school class in order to reach out to the lost special needs adults in our hometown and area. It gives the church an opportunity to not discriminate against disability, but treat our class members in a way that's respectful. If you're going to be a child of God, you need to respect everybody for who they are. The Bible is, is hard for them to understand because of the brain damage. I use my Bible and my Charles Stanley workbook to prepare lessons and get my mind set on what I want to teach the class. My goal in my science class is to lead my class members becoming spiritually mature. In fact, they're not just my friends, they're my spiritual brother and sisters. Jonathan has a stronger relationship with God than almost anybody I know. I don't think he would ever say, I'm glad I have brain damage. 
What he's glad of is that he believes in a God who's powerful enough to go beyond those things. The love of God is immeasurable. It's not comprehensible because it's hard to understand his love. It's good to know there's a father out there whose love does not stop or quit on you. It's like he doesn't get tired of forgiving. I'm th thankful for God's saving grace and mercy. Heavenly Father, we pray and thank you for all your blessings that you have given us, Lord. Thank you for, the, for this opportunity to be a witness by sharing your gospel and being a good example for others. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen.